teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? I I am excited. You're sad? Excited? Yes. Excited. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Okay, so let's have a look at our lesson today. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Let's... I'm hungry. What's wrong? I am hungry. Hungry? Oh, have you not eaten your lunch yet? Yes. Okay, almost dinner time. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So let's see. Goldilocks and the three bears. Are you ready for this story? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go, go, go. Once upon a time, there was a great big, big daddy bear, a middle sized mummy bear, and a teeny weeny baby bear. Daddy Bear had a very big bowl to eat from, a very big chair to sit on, and a very big bed to sleep in. Mummy Bear had a middle-sized bowl to eat from, a middle-sized chair to sit on, and a middle-sized bed to sleep in. And Baby Bear had a teeny weeny bowl to eat from, a teeny weeny chair to sit on, and a teeny weeny bed to sleep in. One day, Mummy Bear cooked them all porridge for breakfast. Mm. She served the porridge into their bowls, but they couldn't eat it because it was too hot. So while it cooled down, they decided to go for a walk. Goldilocks was a pretty girl who had long blonde hair. That is why everyone called her Goldilocks. <laughs> One day, she went for a walk. Her mother told her not to go into the forest alone, otherwise she would get lost. But Goldilocks never listened to her mother. After walking for a while, Goldilocks suddenly found that she was indeed lost. Tired and hungry, she walked some more until finally she came across the three bears' cottage. She knocked on the door but when no one answered, she decided to have a look inside. When she got inside the cottage, she found three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks tried the porridge in the biggest bowl. Ouch, she said. This porridge is too hot. So she tried the porridge in the medium-sized bowl. Ugh, Ugh, she said. This porridge is too cold. Too cold. So she tried the porridge in the teeny Small weeny bowl. bowl. Mm, mm. She said, this porridge is just right. So she ate it all up. Mm. After eating the porridge, Goldilocks wanted to sit down. She looked around and found three chairs. Three chairs? First, she tried the biggest chair. This chair is oh, too dear, big, she said. This chair is much too big. Too big. Then she tried the medium-sized chair. Oh, no, she said. This chair is still too big. Finally, she tried the teeny-weeny chair. This chair is just right, she said. <sighs> So she sat on it 
<gasps> but then the chair broke into pieces. Uh oh! Goldilocks became sleepy and decided to look upstairs. <sighs> She found a room with three beds. She tried the biggest bed. Ouch, she said. This bed is too hard. Ouch. So she tried the medium-sized bed. Oh no, this bed is too soft. Too so she soft. tried the teeny-weeny bed. Ah. Mm. Mm. This bed is it's just, just right. right. And it was so comfortable that she lay down on it and fell asleep. Mm. Meanwhile, the three bears came home from their walk, ready to eat their food. Who's uh, been eating my porridge? <laughs> said Daddy Bear. Who's been eating my porridge? said Mummy Bear. Who's been eating my porridge? said Little Baby Bear. And look, they've eaten it all up! Then the three bears saw their chairs. Who's been sitting in my chair? said Daddy Bear. Oh, no. Who's been sitting in my Not chair? You. said Mummy Bear. Who's been sitting in my chair? said Little Baby oh. Bear. And they've broken it! <gasps> the three bears went to look upstairs. Who's been sleeping in my bed? said Daddy Bear. Who's been sleeping in my bed? said Mummy Bear. Who's been sleeping in my bed? said Little Baby Bear. And they're still here! <laughs> Just then, Goldilocks woke up. Oh, no. She saw the three <gasps> bears and screamed. <gasps> she jumped out of bed, <laughs> ran down the stairs and out of the house as fast as she could. She ran and ran until finally she saw her house and her mother and promised her that she would never go into the forest by herself again. And that was the last the three bears ever saw of Goldilocks. The a very big chair to sit on and a very... Okay. So we watched the story about the about the, Goldilocks. The Grun. Right, Goldilocks and the three bears. What did you think of the story? Did you like it? Yes, I like sorry. You like the story? Good work, me too. All right, so what happened in the story? The girl is hungry. Yes, so the girl, okay, so Goldilocks is the girl. So first, Goldilocks doesn't listen to her mom. So Goldilocks doesn't listen to her mom and she goes into the woods. Okay, so Goldilocks doesn't listen to mom. She goes into the woods. She is hungry. And Oh, tired. She's hungry and tired. Good. All right, then she sees a house. Yeah. She sees a house. Please, 
Okay, number two. Three. Number two. She, she eats the eat. smallest bear's porridge. Bear's porridge. porridge. She eats the smallest bear's porridge. Right? She, she sits on the smallest bear's chair and breaks it. And breaks it. Ah. Oh, no! Okay, so baby bear is very sad when he sees this. Okay, then Goldilocks is tired. Ooh. So she goes and she tries Daddy Bear's bed. Oh, this bed is too hard. Mommy's bed, Bear. Oh, this bed is too soft. Baby Bear's bed. This bed is just right. So she sleeps in Baby Bear's bed. All right. She's sleeping in baby bed. Meanwhile, the bears Meanwhile, were on their way home. Okay. They saw someone had eaten their porridge. They saw someone had eaten their porridge. All right. Then they saw, then they saw someone Broke baby bear's chair. Okay, this made baby bear very sad. So baby bear is sad. Okay. His chair is broken, he is sad. All right, then the bears go upstairs. So the bears go upstairs. They find, they find Goldilocks in the baby bear's bed. They find babe, they find Goldilocks in baby bear's bed and she's still sleeping there. Oh no! Just then, Goldilocks woke up. She woke up. She saw the three bears and screamed. She jumped out of bed, ran down the stairs, and out of the house as fast as she could. My baby bear is sad. Yes. Why is baby bear sad? Because is a girl uh, it it is it, 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 it,
soup. This soup. Porridge. Porridge. Okay, let's let's watch again. You ready? Yes, all right. Watch again. Once upon a time, there was a cottage in the woods where three bears lived. There was a great big daddy bear, a middle-sized mummy bear, and a teeny weeny baby bear. Daddy Bear had a very big bowl to eat from, a very big chair to sit on, and a very big bed to sleep in. Mummy Bear had a middle-sized bowl to eat from, a middle-sized chair to sit on, and a middle-sized bed to sleep in. And Baby Bear had a teeny weeny bowl to eat from, a teeny weeny chair to sit on, and a teeny weeny bed to sleep in. <laughs> One day, Mummy Bear cooked them all porridge for breakfast. Porridge! She served the porridge into their bowl. Porridge! But they couldn't eat it because it was too hot. Porridge! So while it cooled down, they decided to go for a walk. Goldilocks was a pretty girl who had long blonde hair. That is why everyone called her Goldilocks. Goldilocks. <laughs> One day, she went for a walk. Her mother told her not to go into the forest alone, otherwise she would get lost. But Goldilocks never listened to her mother. After walking for a while, Goldilocks suddenly found that she was indeed lost. Tired and hungry, she walked some more until finally she came across the three bears' cottage. She knocked on the door, but when no one answered, she decided to have a look inside. When she got inside the cottage, she found three bowls of porridge. Three bowls of Goldilocks porridge. Goldilocks tried the porridge in the oh. biggest bowl. Biggest bowl? Ouch! Ouch! She said, this porridge is too hot. This porridge is so too hot. So she tried hot. the porridge in the medium-sized bowl. Second bowl? Eh, she said. This porridge is too cold. This porridge is too cold. So she tried the porridge in the teeny weeny bowl. Mm, she said. This porridge is just right. Um, so she ate it all up. <sighs> After eating the porridge, Goldilocks wanted to sit down. She looked around and found three chairs. First, she tried the biggest chair. Oh, this chair is oh, too dear, big, she said. This chair is much too big. This chair is too big. Then she tried big. the medium-sized chair. Oh no, she said. This chair is still too big. This chair is too Finally, big. Finally, she tried the teeny weeny chair. This chair is just right, ah. she said. So she sat on it, Whoops. but then the chair broke <gasps> into pieces. Goldilocks became sleepy and decided to look upstairs. She found a room with three beds. She tried the biggest bed. Ouch, she said. Hey. This bed is too hard. So she tried the medium-sized bed. Oh no, this bed is too soft. Oh, no. So she tried the teeny weeny oh, bed. No. Mm. This, bed is this bed is just right. And it was so comfortable that she lay down on it and fell asleep. Meanwhile, the Meanwhile, three bears came home from the uh -oh. woods, ready to eat their food. Who's been eating my hey, porridge? said Daddy Bear. <laughs> Who's been eating my porridge? said Mummy Bear. Who's been eating my porridge? said Little Baby Bear. And look, they've eaten it all up. Then the three bears saw their chairs. <laughs> Who's been sitting in my chair? said Daddy Bear. Who's been sitting in my chair? said Mummy Bear. Who's been sitting in my chair? 
said little baby bear, and they've broken it. The three bears went to look upstairs. Who's been sleeping in my bed? said Daddy Bear. Who's been sleeping in my bed? said Mummy Bear. Who's been sleeping in my bed? said Little Baby <gasps> Bear. And they're still here. Just then, Goldilocks woke up. She saw the three bears and screamed. She jumped out of bed, ran down the stairs and out of the house as fast as she could. She ran and ran until finally she saw her house and her mother and promised her that she would never go into the forest by herself again. And that was the last the three bears ever saw of Goldilocks. Okay, did you like the story? Yes, I asked the story. Very good. So what happened in the story? There were three bears. Uh, a girl named Goldilocks. Three bears. Three uh, bears. Three bears and and two and mom and girl. Yes, okay, but mom didn't go to the bear's house. So we can't say anything about mom. So we have three bears and a girl named Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Okay. Three bears and a name and a girl named Goldilocks. All right. So did you like the story? Yes, I like story. Good job. Me too. Okay. So Goldilocks was not listening to her mom. She went into the forest and she was walking and walking. She got lost. Oh, it's my baby. Okay, and then she was hungry yeah. and oh, tired. Baby. And she needed a place to eat and lie down. So she found the bear's house. Uh oh. And she went to their house. Good work. Okay, so I will send you the story. Watch it again. And then you can practice. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you too. Bye.